Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Still. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Today we are going to be talking about this one. This is Car Mechanic Simulator for the PlayStation 4. Yes, finally, Car Mechanic Simulator has come to the consoles. If you're a car person or you enjoy sort of messing around and tinkering with engines, but you haven't got the money to buy yourself a new car, this game is for you. But without further ado, let's get it on, shall we? Okay, so this is Car Mechanic Simulator. Basically, you're the mechanic, this is your garage. Well, actually, this is the training garage. This is the one right at the beginning of the game, before you actually start properly into the game. I'm using this just for demo purposes. Okay, so basically the game is you're a mechanic. You have to build a name for yourself and to repair loads of cars and to basically enjoy yourself in the grease-filled world of the engine. Gonna be honest, not too bad of a game. Now the reason why I was excited about this is because this game itself has been one of those things that's always been trundled around on PC. Never been able to get it on console until now. So if you're a person who wants to play this sort of game, it's actually not that expensive. I think max price on the PlayStation 4 is 25 quid, which for a game that you involve like messing around with engines all the time, painting cars, making sure they're working properly, selling them off for the most profit, this game is definitely for you. Now, you can buy your dream car. You can customise your dream car. You can make it the car of your dreams. Like, as I've been saying, dream car. But first off, you've got to start from the bottom. You start with a $4,000 budget. And you're basically the bog standard mechanic. Pick up your phone, take a job, change an oil, change a tyre. That's pretty much the game for a little while until it gets a bit more advanced. And then some of the missions later on are actually timed. So you've got to constraint your efforts and everything else into ordering parts, getting the car working, everything else within a certain specific amount of time. So the game does have a level of difficulty when it comes to quickness as well. The worst part about that is that the camera angles and the camera system they have in this game is a little bit ropey to start with and it does take a little bit of time to actually adjust to actually get this right on a console. Now obviously with a PC it's a little bit more of a quicker reaction, it comes down to the mouse and everything else, but when it comes to a console and you've got the analog sticks, you have to feather them out first, so I would highly recommend doing the tutorial before anything else. Even if it just means walking around the garage and looking at everything, at least then you're getting used to the controls. Personally, I would look into the engine block itself, have a look around, make sure you know which way the camera is going, then from there it's going to evolve and your knowledge will become greater. The best part about this game is it's so detailed and down to the parts of the actual engine itself. Now obviously you are a mechanic, you're supposed to make all this stuff work, you need a good looking environment. And what they have done really well with making the garage look as homely as possible with, that it can do with a garage. Obviously, it's basically full of all the stuff you're going to be using. A workbench to make things cleaner, better, and even if they're going to work better. You've got your tyre machine. You've got all these other bits and pieces that you're going to be using to make people's cars better. And even your little dream car at the end of this. And the best part about this game is that everything is movable and customisable. And it, it, everything works. Now, when it comes to the actual detailing outside of the garage itself, it's a little bit lacking. And in honesty, it's not the main focus of the game, so I can completely understand why they didn't focus on the outside of a garage. When you're inside the garage, everything looks detailed, it looks good, it looks fantastic, it's all shiny and new, and you've got the car that comes down to detail, the rust that's on bits and pieces of the car, down to the brakes and the discs, everything looks nice and clean, and it's it's been rendered to a very high quality. The downside is when you go and test one of these cars and it looks like something from the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Genuinely, it doesn't look too great when it comes to the graphics outside, but as said, their main focus is what's under the hood and under the chassis, not what's outside on the test track itself. Now, if you're a fan of tinkering with things to try and make them better, this game is for you. If you're one of those people who enjoys taking things apart just to see how they work, this game's for you. If you enjoy high octane RPG first person shooter big explosions, this game's definitely not for you. Don't pick it up unless you're one of those strange people like myself. Now, I like games with a lot of action and a lot of gameplay and a lot of blowing things up and a lot of guns and a lot of everything, but I also like a good simulator. I'm quite happy to play a game like this and I'm quite happy to play things like SimCity or just anything that it just involves simulation gaming, and I'm a bit of a strange one. This game is definitely up my street. I enjoy seeing how things work. I enjoy seeing how things I can take them apart. And the best part about this is they give you a system on how to put it all back together again. 
that's fantastic for someone like me because I'm good at deconstruction. I'm just not very good at construction itself. When it comes to putting a car back together, I don't generally have an idea of where things go. But when it comes to actually seeing how it all goes back together, that, that blows my mind of just like people have memorized how to do all this. Now, the best part about this game is you don't have to memorize all of this. Basically, you one push of a button, you see all the components you need to put back in an order. Now, the best part is that if it glows green, you can put it there. If it glows red, it means something either bolted to it is still bolted to it and you need to take it apart. Or you haven't put something in and it won't clip into where it should go. That's pretty much it. That, they make this game very simple for idiots like myself to play and actually enjoy. And that I'm very thankful for. So thank you very much. Apart from that, I can't really say much about the rest of the game. And the reason why is just because this is pretty much it. You're a car mechanic. Guess what you've got to do? You've got to fix cars. You've got to make sure they work. And then you can sell them or earn money from your labor. That's pretty much down to it. Now, when it comes to the actual campaign mode of this game, you start off in a one car garage. You have a little work table. You have all your basic equipment. And you've just got to build yourself up from there. This game will be a time consuming mess of your life, basically. And as you're going through the game, you will get better jobs. You'll get better pay and you'll be getting better cars to work on. At the start, you're doing bare necessities. You're doing oil changes. You're doing tire changes. Basically, the MOT standard. And then when it comes to later on, you know, you're going to be doing body repair. You're going to be doing paint shop work. You're basically going to be repairing whole cars or creating them almost from scratch, building an engine from nothing and then making it into something. You're going to be building your garage to have a reputation of being good quality. So the parts you're going to be doing, instead of like just repairing them themselves, you're going to be bringing in new parts, maybe rare parts, maybe making the most money you possibly can out of a rare build just so you can scoop that extra bit of cash at the end. So, how would I rate Car Mechanic Simulator for the PlayStation 4? Now, obviously, I can't give a rating for the Xbox, and it's probably exactly the same, to be fair. But, as this is a PlayStation 4 review, and it comes from somebody who doesn't mind playing simulation games, I'm giving this game a really solid mark. And the reason why is it, it's going to take a lot of my time to do things like this. I may even come up with ideas of videos on what I can do with this. The best part about it is it's not very expensive. When you see like big games like Crash Team Racing, when you see like God of War and all this, they're charging quite a lot of money. I mean, Crash Team Racing, okay, is £35. But when it comes to other games, they're looking at £60 plus. And this game is brand new for a console and it's only £25. Yes, I know it's a simulator and it's not for everyone's taste. But, you know, it's one of those games. If you really want to bury your head into it, it won't cost you too much. Or you could wait for a sale, which is quite regular on playstation you can get yourself a sale copy maybe you're going to be spending 20 maybe even down to 15 pound in the next sort of six months but if you're one of these people that enjoys doing games like this when it comes to simulation or even if it just comes to deconstruction actually trying to fix stuff this game's definitely for you it's a mess free hobby and all you need is your pad and a little bit of time to play each level so thank you very much for joining me in this video. This has been Hybrid Steel. And until my next video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates, as there will be a few coming very, very soon. Now, if you do want to watch another video, they'll be popping up just over there and down there. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button that pops up above my head. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your support. It is most appreciated to see as many of you popping along to these videos as humanly possible. I will see you all in another live stream video or whatever else I do here. This has been Hybrid Steel. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye.